Hell yeah. Guess who got invaded? Who? Ukraine. Are they actually invaded yet? Well, I, I don't think that they are. Well, was it was it? what? The skeletons of the missiles or what was that? Well, I, I, I'd like a low-key bet, but not Smoke that. Puff? What's that what? rapper's name? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. With uh, Dr. Evil. I had a bet. Well, like, it wasn't really a bet because we didn't, like, finish off terms and shit. I owed that motherfucker five grand from ten years. Jesus Christ. For ten, last ten years, I haven't paid him in golf. Oh, my God. What the fuck did you bet him? Huh? What did you bet him? Like, money on golf. We're on, paying, like... On golf? Yeah, it was, like, putt, putt, go. And you bet him five grand on one <laughs> yeah. round of golf? Yeah, yeah, Christ, you're... Yeah, 18, 18. I was like, I'm not going to pay this motherfucker regardless. You're special, <laughs> man. I got my first I got my first pistol then, too. One, I remember... One, one day when this guy gets married, you can give him five Gs, but like, here's your bet. Done. Yeah, I two kills... Two, uh, two, kill two birds with one stone. Uh, that's exactly right. Boom. Uh, yeah, well, I guess... Two birds, one stone here. Ukraine, Russia, I don't know, man. That shit's fucking weird because there are a lot of rumors about people, uh, actually not even rumors, reports oh. of Russia lining up troops around the Ukraine border, like 150,000 deep. Yeah, bet. And then other reports of them pulling out, and then now apparently they're saying they're on. I heard, uh, what's that fucking, the UK Prime Minister, um, Boris. Boris. Our, our boy Boris, he said. Run sandwich. Russia is gearing up for a World War Three. He said this. <coughs> yeah. Prime Minister of the UK is saying this. So maybe they know something, though. Huh? I don't. Maybe they know something that we Asians of the heart. Okay. Um, a man that's very driven towards success. Mm. If it's not, if if you're not limited by your heart, I would say Ritalin or Adderall with the combination of testosterone. You're going to take over the world if you're smart enough. Really? Absolutely. It's like the kind of focus where people only have one or two of those a lifetime. Where somebody sits down and they're like, okay, I got to change my life up right fucking now. I got to do some Adderall and do some testosterone and really change this thing up. And that's that's that feeling. It is unbelievable. But you're also running your heart rate at like 60% all the time. Yeah, I don't know about that. That sounds kind of dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also kind of like a limitless combination cocktail. Well, limitless is based off of um, Adderall. Yeah, like Adderall, Ritalin, that whole thing. It's but it's, it's not like that, right? It's it's almost like fantasized. It's it's I've done I've done Ritalin. It you do get focus based, but it you still like you're still deprived of absolute focus. And it, what it, I mean by is, absolute it, focus it is, is like it, it is a movie like based because like. Limitless was the whole idea of basically the super drug that takes all the benefits of Adderall and Ritalin and none of the side effects. Well, that doesn't exist, right? Obviously, well, it's a fucking movie. Although, in the movie, there were still some side effects. There was a lot of side effects. One of them was if you didn't get enough sleep or eat or whatever, you would basically like black out and like do fucked up shit. That was like one of the huge side effects. Not do fucked up shit necessarily, but you would skip in portions of Yeah, yeah, but you know, you would do fucked up shit. He like... No, no, no. It's it's that he would lose consciousness abilities where he would. That's what I'm saying. He'd black blinks, out. He'd black right? out. But it doesn't necessarily have. He killed that one chick. Right? That's what I'm saying. The fucked up over shit, dude. That's they what I'm just saying. Skipped over that. The other side effect was um, oh, it'll make you sick, like physically ill. Yeah, it, there'd be withdrawals. But that's why he said he's like, as long as I don't drink, don't do coffee, eat and sleep, I'm good. Imagine if you had a drug that actually did all that shit. Fuck, that'd be amazing. If all I had to do is like eat healthy and Hector, sleep. Imagine me with my testosterone levels running on three hours of sleep, like I'm running on ten hours of sleep every day. Think about the productivity level. The, the, the whole like running. I'd be, deal, I'd, be I'd be fucking Dude, making that on eight hundred dollars. Fucking late. Anybody. If I could anybody. do that, if I could, if I could run on three hours of sleep, like I do on like nine hours of sleep. Holy shit! Watch holy out, fuck! Watch, watch out, world. You're getting a Rolls Royce next month, sir. Yeah, I'm like fucking Jesus, man. Building cities. Fucking making companies like it's you're a, a carpenter, a whole, plumber a by day, and you're a fucking software developer teaching Emma by night. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? That'd be nice. Coming for your throne. Yeah, hey, right. Actually, that rem- that reminds me. So we we had a user submitted question, right? A viewer submitted question rather, and it was about this idea of like potential, like human potential. Are so, you switching us? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. So human potential in the sense of like. Do you feel that people are predetermined to get to some kind of potential ceiling or there's a way or that that progression happens like another way, like it's it's taught or trained or like 
brought up in that sense. I think everybody has. I think everybody has the potential to exceed and be one of like the one percenters. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I ran through some numbers here, and it's a little bit interesting. Okay, what do you think? The amount of people in thirty six million people have make ten to thirty million dollars a year. What do you think? What do you think the group population? Sorry, how, how, how many people? Out of well, thirty six like million. Yeah. So in that Canada. make in Canada, Canada yeah, yeah. that make ten to thirty million dollars a year. Percent? N- net value. Or amount. Uh amount. I would say I'd say like hundred thousand, hundred five five hundred thousand. You're way over. Way over? Because think about one percent, right? That that's more than one percent. No, that's ten to ten ten to thirteen. It's like one. One ten percent of uh. Ten to ten to thirty thirty million. Hold on, listen. Ten to thirty million net income is like one thirtieth top percent. Of the of the one percent, like you take the one percent, no, you I, divide wait, it by thirty. I think that number. What that math has that has to be off. That math. No, 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 it's not, because the top one percent at the twenty five age group is four hundred seventy one thousand dollars net. What about older though? Uh, so averaged out, net one percent yeah. is one point four million dollars. Okay, so in that case, I'll shrink my number down to uh, I'll say five thousand. Okay, it's about 11,000 people. Okay, I was going to say 10 first. Oh, damn. Okay. okay, five. All right. and, and an interesting fact that I read about this is that those guys were 80% down in income of net income 20 years ago. What so, do you mean? So they were they were down, like, okay, if they're making $10 million now, yeah, they're making $2 million I 20 see. years ago. I see. Okay, so the transition was a climb. It wasn't like a yeah, drastic yeah. going up, right? It's kind of like building subscribers. Right. It's the long game. And these guys are putting in. It's who wants to put in 70, 80 hours a week on your craft, whatever that craft is, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's selling off Amazon, whether it's doing a startup software, whether it's being a mechanical uh, operations manager, whatever it is, it's putting in 70, 80 hours for the last however long, 10, 20, 30 years. And it's really that. Now, out of those who have the opportunity to climb up into that kind of category of making $1 million, right? Net income is, is very rare to have $1 million. Like how many people I know of all the crazy suspect Loki shit I've done in my life. Yeah. I know maybe three people that make uh, for, through illegal activities. Yeah. That invested at least 10 years into the craft that make a million dollars mm. net income. Mm-hmm. So it's not many people. If most people I ask, they don't know anybody that age, that that kind of uh, value to them. Right. Now, what's interesting about this is that if you spend enough time in the right category with the right amount of money, you do have the opportunity to surpass these things. However, what is holding you back, right? That's that's the great question. Is what is holding you back from turning yourself from an average person into something like this? And what it is is giving up basically your twenties and thirties. It's honestly the thing that. is okay. Hold on, because this is now deviating from the original question. Because what what you're getting now into is like financial and like social success, which a is hard to control because that the, the thing you mentioned about the whole like seventy eighty hours. There's people who will do that for years on end and will never advance. <laughs> yeah, that's where the opportunity matches the yeah, so hard work, right? The ori- yeah, exactly. Uh, that's such a good point that you mentioned. But the original question. I actually kind of changed the phrasing. The original question, as it was given to me, was roughly along the lines of, are geniuses born or are geniuses, can can, can geniuses be made? I think this is uh, actually a thing. There's two stages of a genius, right? A mm. potential. So, which means that there is, you have a cap. Like, you, you have to have, um, do I know a lot of people that have very dumb parents genetically and are actually fairly well off and successful um, as far as educational base or financial base? Very far and few between because dumb parents will, will will develop dumb kids on average. 
smart parents will develop smart kids. Now, there is the combination of parents. Why, that why is that? Some things in life, if you don't seek them, they will never turn up the information. This information of like how uh, well off families develop. I'll give you an example. Sacrificing as a family. Indians do this. Okay. They'll have one house, 15 people living in it. Yeah, multi-generational homes. Right. Multi-generational homes is a good way to start off as an immigrant. However, there's also people that invested very early. So I've dated some of these girls where their parents came in here in the 70s and 80s. Yeah. Now, if you come here in the 70s, 80s, you're buying houses for $80,000 in Burnaby, North yeah. Burnaby. Right? So that being said, there is those. However, the opportunity and the hard work of immigrants coming here in the last 10 to 15 years and having these opportunities to pass on to their children, being one of the children, it is doable. However, the only key to it is, is your parents, in order for you to match the, the genius and, and that, would have to have that transition period somewhat in their life. Either buy a house, sell a house, buy a couple of houses, sell a house, have a financial um, independency other than an employment. Because employment, honestly, I don't think will create geniuses. It's very hard for just employment, like pure employment. Like you work for somebody for 10, 15 years, you're not going to have the genius capability. Part of the genius capability is creativity and being able to like tone into one kind of demand of the public. It's very, very hard to, to see that if your parents haven't done it. It's very hard to deviate away from that. Right, especially in this market, and as we age. So then, what is your contention like to what develops genius? It, it could be me, any. It, if it, I'm mistaken from what you've been describing, you basically seem to describe it as financial stability and financial. To me, genius doesn't mean is what cultivates the pos- the environment for genius. We should really go deep into what a genius means to you because I think it's it's very very subjective. Call it like a point point zero, like some like point zero zero one outlier in terms of intelligence. As far as intelligence, as yeah. far as like uh, making practical, a business, practical intelligence. Having a business doesn't mean that you're intelligent. Uh, I think it 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 you're definitely I, more intelligent if you have a business. I than know a lot of dumb shit people have businesses, so it, do, it doesn't mean now a successful business or like uh, some kind of like groundbreaking business. Okay, fine, we'll can get into that. What about one hundred fifty thousand dollars a month? That's not. Uh, I don't think that's genius level at all. It's it's like whatever. There's there's lots of people like that, but we're talking like. Well, we, we just saw like $150,000 a month is, is top 1%. Not a lot of people like that. Yeah, but then I guess we're talking like 0.01%. But you got what I'm saying. Yeah, as sure. long as it's 1%, it's like not a lot of people. Yeah, but 0.1% on 120 million people. We're talking about the states now. It's a lot. Yeah, but you also you have to look at the other side where it's all the broke people, right? It's a lot more. A sure. A lot but of people like, making 50 grand one, and under. 1% of 140. 20 million people is, is a lot of people. Why would it be 120 million? Because it's the States. But the States is like 360 million. Even dollars. worse. Yeah. No, no, you do. I, I'm not Even saying worse, that right? thing. But I'm saying it's just a ratio thing. The ratio is the same. So okay, it's like, fine. Okay, Let, fine. Let's not deviate too much. But the original question was, do you think geniuses are born or, or they're developed or they can be developed? I think there is... Both is correct. The only difference between a true genius... And somebody who isn't is honestly luck of the draw. You need the time, the effort, it's the opportunity to gather everything. And the person has to be ready to put everything into place to become it's, that genius. Listen, it's true. Success is, is a factor of a lot of things. And you've actually touched on a, a quite a few of the people. People that study this shit actually look into. So when people look at, you know, why did certain people develop the way that they did? Like, why... Why did Bill Gates become a hundred and twenty billion dollar, you know, billionaire, but then somebody who had very similar capabilities like him didn't? Like, what made him so fucking special? Yeah. Or like, any of these like big name mainstream people, so like your Elon Musk is, your fucking Jeff Bezos, your Zuckerberg's, all these people that have done big things worldwide. Why did they, and why did not somebody else who was just as capable? Are they truly that special, or was there something else? Are you recording? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of the um. And one of the things that people keep mentioning over over time when, when they look at this kind of stuff, because they've looked at it now and in history. So, like, why, why was Rockefeller Rockefeller? Why was the Rothschild the Rothschild? Why was, why was Getty Getty, right? Like, yeah. why were those people, were they really that fucking special or was something else? 
a big, really big factor into all of this, opportunity. Yeah. Opportunity. Like the luck. The yeah. luck side of things. So it's, I think, what was it? S- someone described success as like the right combination of opportunity and preparation. Yeah. I've heard that before. That, that's what that is, right? Right. The, the, the whole genius, when it comes to like intelligence born or developed thing, was interesting because when the question was asked to me, I don't think I actually had a clear answer for it. Mm. But it did trigger a memory where I saw that someone actually had this question. Someone in the scientific community had this question. They're mm. like, can we develop a genius? Or mm. is it just like born? Like is, if you're just an Einstein, you're just a fucking Einstein. Like whatever, either you are and you aren't. And uh, they actually decided to test this theory with their own children. Mm. Uh, the guy was a scientist. I think it was like, I don't think he was a psychologist. I forget what he was. But he's like, he told his wife, listen, let's, let's, make our, let's make our next child a case study. Let's see if we can develop a genius. Mm. We won't know what their potential is because they're not born yet. They're not even conceived. But the next time we have a, a child, let's try. And they ended up training. A Down syndrome kid. <laughs> the greatest woman's chess player of all time. But but IQ doesn't always in chess, it doesn't mean. It's really big. But I know guys in prison that have very low IQ can't read. They're not going to be world champion in chess. No, but they will, sh- like, they are top 10%. Bro, we're talking about, like, point zero 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 one. Like, yeah, but if you take that kid and you give him those parents that are going to train him, he, that, might, be, this he might be that. The, this was the theory, is that their theory was they could develop a genius. That's what I'm saying. That's That was their contention. I think, I think and you, so they tried yeah. and they did. However... It's so hard to make this study like world. You can't, because how many times are you can be able to do this kind of study? How many how many times are you gonna get parents to give up their child? No, no, no. no. The and better, like, the and better. be like, all right, we're yeah. gonna develop all children to be. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's a yeah, hard, yeah, it's hard thing to like prove, but it was cool that they tried. The better way of testing that would be those same parents would have to go raise other kids, and in a lifetime, that's almost impossible. Like, how, how, because you you have to have the same circumstances. So the other kid, like some African kid that's, yeah, that yeah. has the potential, has to come live with those parents in that same house, go through the same processes as that other kid that did the chest and, stuff. And that was their theory is that they could actually do it with anyone. If that, that, was, that was their I would contention. Imagine, that I was would their imagine it would be pretty close to something like that, yeah. right? I would yeah. think that everybody has, as long as you have a medial IQ, you have an average like median IQ, I would imagine that you could uh, potentially you know, go through these – Loopholes it's, and it's do crazy. It? I still remember her name. I, I look it up right now. Judith Polgar was born on the 23rd of July in 1976 in Budapest. Polgar and her two older sisters, Susan and Sophia, were part of an educational experiment carried wow. out by their father, Laszlo Polgar, in an attempt to prove that children could make exceptional achievements if trained in a specialist subject from a very early age. Quote, Geniuses are made, not born, was Laszlo's thesis. Wow. He and his wife, Clara, educated their three daughters at home with chess as a specialist subject. Laszlo also taught his three daughters the interla- international language, Esperanto. They received resistance from... What's Esperanto? It's uh, actually, I've actually heard about this. It's the first human-developed language of modern times. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Not many people speak it, pretty but it's, cool. it's pretty cool. That's like the oldest language, no? No. I mean, it's it's one of the newest. Okay, say it again. I said it's one of the newest human-developed languages of our time. And what it, what kind of language is it, it based on? It combines on? like a lot of like, – it combines uh, Spanish, English, um, some like uh, Asian languages as well. Is it Korean or no? I'll, I'll play you a clip of what Esperanto sounds like, and then you can decide for yourself. Um, That's crazy. Esperanto. Learn something new every day. So, anyways, Judith Polgar, she became considered like probably like the greatest woman's chess player of all time. Yeah, and her s- and her sisters, grandmaster and ma- like it was crazy. Like yeah, they, yeah. they ended up developing the levels to. But let's be honest here: the best WNBA player is not even a bench player in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> let's be honest what, here. What's crazy about that point that you just mentioned is, she is, P- Judith. Anyways, Polgar was the only woman to have won a game against a reigning world number one player. And she has defeated 11 current or former world champions in rapid or classical chess. And it lists off like, these are men, yeah, not okay. women. So she's like, but I don't it, So is it, is, it a, is it common knowledge that men are better chess players than women? Yes. Okay. But th- here's the thing. 
people. <laughs> <laughs> the reason girls keep relationships ambiguous, ambiguous. is because they want to test pilot. And what I've noticed is this, okay? And I just ran into this the last maybe three to four days, Hector. And this is very what crucial. What do you mean? This is very, very crucial. There's always known as a hope phase, correct? Sure. Generally, and I might get some hate for this. This might be fucking the worst fucking thing I might say. Alert, alert. Yes. Fucking like... Uh, what it, I've noticed is this. This is a, a disclaimer here. If you're sensitive, don't listen to this. The girls that are usually popular in high school have usually lower IQs. Um, and they go through the whole phase at a very young age. From what I've noticed, again, this is just my experience. And then what happens is the girls that were not really asked for in high school... But now somehow got some type of education, some type of status, whether they went through a diet, whether they, you know, went to a shrink, got their confidence up, whatever it may be. Shout out to you. I'm not hating. Well, bring me back. How does this tie into the ambiguous thing? Okay. Biologically, women need to sustain a very, very high value man. The smarter the girl, the higher the value the woman really is. Yes. Give me that joint on that fucking thing right there. Little I'm gonna roach, go deep. Roachy. I'm right. gonna go deep, son. And this is I think we're gonna end on this. Okay. I think okay. We're end yeah, on yeah. This. The smarter the girl, the higher the bar. Yes. And less balance. Okay. Now you have to understand this as a weight scale here. A girl has instantly more weight on that scale than you right off the bat because she has to all, not only sacrifice a child, mm -hmm. sacrifice her body, yeah. possibly sacrifice financial abilities. That's why the court systems are in their favor generally. Okay? That's just fair to say. I'm not hating on girls. It is just the way it is just for precautionary reasons because, I mean, they are more vulnerable. Um, that being said, when you go through... Um, a certain number of girls in your life, just interaction-wise, not even sexually, just interaction-wise, you get you get a feel for it. Two things I realize is that the smarter girls are usually the less attractive girls. Not necessarily because they're actually genetically less attractive, but because they don't put themselves out there at an early age. Yeah. So they don't get noticed or picked up yes, as yes, a radar, yes, yes, as yes. a like you know so they're yeah they're viewed as less attractive right Understood. because they they just run under the radar yeah 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 right then they they blossom at a later age right and generally girls like genetically start going down you know they they don't get the same attention let's say uh, after 35 usually, yeah 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 per, per, right that's pretty generous yeah but okay so sure. let's just say 35 yep. based on genetically you know some some genetics less earlier and some some more now that being said the smarter ones blossom later. Now, the smarter ones are more ambiguous than the dumber ones. And that just makes straight sense because if you're more ambiguous, you are actually configuring the relationship that you need in order to have this child or have this family or have any kind of yeah, sustainable yeah. algorithmic you know, relationship between you where it creates an environment for for production and 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 late and more growth, okay, right? Yeah. Double growth because there's two people investing in the same kind of lifestyle. Um, dumber girls are easier to accept you. However, it's actually harder to get the less attractive, smarter girl nowadays in 2022. I believe than to get the good looking girl. That's not as smart. Now that that might have been a, a, a common ideology from back in the day, maybe from your experience. Yeah, yeah. However, I gotta say, a girl could literally be going out with the guy. She goes on Valentine's Day with the guy. Yeah. The guy will let her drive her car, his car, and she will. If you ask her, and if you have, I guess some type of ambiance to you, yeah. some some type of different characteristics that she hasn't come across. Let's say she only dates a certain spectrum of guys and you are a newer type of guy that she never really dealt with. She's curious. She's interested. Right, right. 
She'll make that guy that she was dated for three to four months very ambiguous as far as a right. friend, right? Yeah. To make it seem like I'm still available if you need, right? I'm still curious. And why are they doing that? I'd lie to you if I said I knew. Oh. And they do this. That's that's the that's, key question. We'll leave on that one yeah. and we will explore that next week. Yeah. Because that is actually a very, very interesting. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you subscribe everywhere. Subscribe on YouTube. YouTube. Subscribe Instagram. Funny you. Foul Podcast. Instagram. We got Spotify. We got Spotify. Apple. 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 Everywhere. We got some Chinese platforms we don't know. Fuck TikTok. TikTok.